everyone, so today I'm going to be filming my June favorites and almost all of the products that I have to show you guys today are products that I've never talked about before on this channel. So that's really exciting and I'm going to get right into it. So starting off with makeup, I'm going to start with the two products, like they're the only two products that I have talked about on this channel. So the first one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow. Um, I don't know what order you're supposed to say this in, but it's the 24 hour color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And it's a cream shadow, but it's also a primer or a base. You can use it any way you like. It basically doesn't crease, it doesn't move, nothing. And it acts as a really, really nice base for other eyeshadows. And I've been wearing this so much because if you just wear this by itself, I like to pat it on with my pinky finger on my eyelid. Um, if you just wear it by itself, it actually looks like a whole look. It looks like you spent a lot of time on your eyeshadow and you have a bunch of different colors that's so dimensional. And you can build it up really nicely. If you just put a teeny little layer, it's like the nicest little like really light brown but with a little bit of shimmer because it is a cream but if you build it up it can be the most beautiful dark chocolatey brown so this is a really great all-purpose product especially if you're in a rush and you need to get eyeshadow on your face like now the next product is a eyeliner it is the stila smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in the color damsel and this actually came with my stila in the light palette but you can get it um, by itself. I love this liner because of how creamy it is. It comes off of the stick really, really nicely. And I guess it makes sense because it's called a smudge stick that it just would smudge it onto your lid. But I like to use it for tight lining and lighting my waterline because I don't have to rub it in a bunch of times to get any product out. It just like glides right on. Um, the only con to this product is that it does take a while to get off. Um, you have to use a pretty heavy duty eye makeup remover to get it all off but because it's waterproof obviously this is another great all purpose product like the color tattoo eyeshadow because it just goes so quickly you just glide it on and you're done and it just gives the most gorgeous intensity but it's kind of a subtle intensity because it's a dark brown damsel's a dark brown color so I love this and I think it's a really really good um, multitasker if you want you can even smudge a little bit of this on your eyelid and it blends easily enough that you can use it as an eyeshadow I've been using it in my crease some days and I really like the way it looks the last makeup product I have to share is a new one this is actually something that I got in my June birch box or May birch box one of the two they arrived at kind of the same time one of my birch box samples was this Cynthia Rowley eyeliner um it's just an eyeliner it just doesn't say what kind of eyeliner but it's a uh, black eyeliner and it's just so smooth oh my goodness it's like the Stila smudge stick but this one is a little bit more solid it's not quite as smudgy this one is more of a it's easier to get like a solid line with it than just as kind of a smudge and I've been wearing this almost every day since I started trying it from my birch box and I just I love it and again with the smudge stick like I like lining my waterline with it I like lining my tight line with it because it comes off so easily you don't have to rub a bunch of times to get a line and it's just amazingly creamy and I'm really really happy with the sample that I got. Moving on to skincare, I have another Birchbox sample that I've been trying out. It is the Super Goop SPF 30 Everyday Sunscreen. If you guys haven't seen my Birchbox unboxing video, which I will link down below if you haven't seen it, they accidentally gave me two of this sample. They try never to repeat samples, but they gave me one in my May Birchbox and gave me one in my June Birchbox. And they were really apologetic. They awarded me $10 in points because they felt so bad about giving me duplicate samples, but I actually don't mind at all because I've tried this sample and I absolutely love it. This is the first sunscreen for face that I've tried that doesn't make me oily and it doesn't make me break out. And I feel like when you're putting on sunscreen beneath makeup, it's so important to find a formula that works well for you that's not going to make your makeup like look cakey or look shiny or slide all over your face. And this, ooh, and this is just perfect. I dropped it. This is just perfect because it soaks into your skin really, really nicely. It doesn't sit on top. And I just feel like it's just a really, really good product. And as soon as I run out of the samples, I will be buying the full size of this because it's the best face sunscreen that I've tried and that is saying something. On to hair care. I mentioned this in my products I've used up video, my last video, which will be linked at the end of this video and in the info box if you want to go watch it. It was... Um, what I used up was a sample of this that my hairdresser gave me, and I went out and bought the full size. It's the Matrix Hydrotherapy Conditioning Balm, and it's not actually a balm, it's just a conditioner. Um, this stuff is amazing. Okay, so my hairdresser gave me a sample size that was probably mm, that big, that tall, and I used it all up, and I just, I love this so much. I would really recommend trying this out if you have curly hair or your hair gets dry or brittle. I feel like it just nourishes my hair super, super well, and I can really feel the moisture afterwards. I feel like my hair is more shiny and just more um, silky after I use this. I definitely get dry spots and breakage and split ends sometimes because curls just, they soak up moisture 
and then they like don't hold on to it if that makes sense it's really tough to keep curls super nourished and moisturized and I just feel like this conditioner helps me a lot with that it's thick and it's moisturizing and I feel like it sinks into my hair really well to get the nutrients in that it needs and I just I've been loving it moving on to the random favorites now summer is one of my favorite times of the year because well there's several reasons but one of the big reasons is watermelon this is like my life I who doesn't like watermelon? Like, I don't even understand you. If you tell me you don't like watermelon, like, we, we can't be friends. This is really heavy, guys. Can we just, like, okay, we're working out. Also, cherries. Cherries are so delicious, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I've eaten so many cherries this past month. It's, like, it's probably not so good, but they're just so good, and they're, like, they're so sweet, and they're so juicy, and just, I, I don't even have anything else to say. Like, you, you probably had a cherry, like, you know what I'm talking about, but seriously. This looks very suspicious. It is not, it's not suspicious. This is rhubarb. Oh, dear. I can't take myself seriously with this huge stock of red vegetables but anyway this stuff tastes amazing when you sweeten it a lot it takes a lot of sweetener because otherwise it's really really bitter but I actually made a raw vegan cheesecake using rhubarb as the topping and I basically um, just put it on the stove with some honey and I boiled it until it was just like a soup and then I put it on top of my raw vegan cheesecake which is mostly nut based and I froze it and it turned into just something so delicious and so good it was like a rhubarb popsicle but I don't know. It's just really delicious. I can actually link the recipe that I used for the cheesecake down below. Um, it turned out really, really well. I started it at a dinner party, and everybody really liked it. Rhubarb is usually used with strawberries in pie, but I wasn't making a pie, so there's that. Okay, my very last favorite is a candle, and I actually have another one of these candles burning right behind me. Um, I had to pick up a backup because I was so afraid that they were going to run out, or I was going to run out, and they wouldn't have any more. I got that candle, like the beginning of the month I think and I've already burned it more than halfway it is the Bath and Body Works endless weekend candle and it says fresh summer mandarin sun-kissed magnolia and blue coconut water this smells so good you guys I don't even know how to tell you how delicious this smells and now that I'm thinking about it did I maybe mention this before I feel like I mentioned this before I might have I don't know I don't I don't even care I you need to know about this you need to get it because Oh my god, it smells like Hollister. Actually, it smells like a beach date. Like, if I was thinking of going to the beach, and, like, this is the scent that comes along with going to the beach. And also, the packaging of this is really, really gorgeous. It's a new line from Bath & Body Works. It's, their, it's this year's summer line, and it doesn't have a lid, which is kind of inconvenient for storage. But at the same time, the packaging looks like sea glass, which is just gorgeous. And I don't even know. Like, I've been burning this so much. I love it, and I'm probably gonna pick up another backup or two because I do not want to run out of this I want to burn it all year long and I'm just obsessed so those are all of the things that I have been loving this past month let me know in a comment below what your June favorites were I'd love to know just so you guys know the uploading schedule on this channel is going to be changing in the near future um, up until now I've been doing one video on Monday and one video on Thursday and this week I'm actually going to be out of town so there um, may or may not be a video this weekend. I will try to get a video scheduled to go up um, at some point while I'm gone. However, the change in the upload schedule does not mean less videos. It means more videos. So there will probably be a video three to four times a week um, through the end of August. And I'm just trying to figure out what days I want to upload, if I even want to stick to the schedule, or if I just want to do it kind of whenever. If you guys have any input for those ideas, let me know in a comment below if there's any certain days you'd like to see videos. Um, I'm open to suggestions. So please just hang tight in the next week if there is a slight shortage of videos. Um, I am working on it and there will be much more frequent uploads in the near future. I also want to thank you guys for getting me to almost 200 subscribers. It means so much to me that there are so many of you now and I just love that I'm able to reach this wide of a community of people. So yeah, just continue to share your thoughts in the comments and feel free to message me at any time. I want to keep a really personal connection with you guys. So I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye! thumbnail for me? Can I do what? Take a thumbnail picture for me. Can the dog come in? Oh, oh it yeah. is fragrant here. It's the candle. Whew. You like it? It's just too strong for me. I just stopped recording. It's so heavy, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. oh. Mm. Playing the
drums. You know, my, when my dad picks up watermelon, he always taps it to like hear what it sounds like. And apparently there's like a sound that you're looking for. I don't know what that sound is, but apparently this sounds really good. Um, I don't know what a bad watermelon would sound like. That's what you're looking for. If you're looking for a really good watermelon, like that's the sound that you're, I feel really weird right now. Let me bad about the bad bit of bad bit of bit back. Ow! Ow! I've just been, I just, I just, what?